joining us on Bay Area HQ. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Kristen. As many of the viewers know, the Love Boat was filmed on Princess Cruises ships, including the 730 passenger Sun Princess. Now you all are christening the Regal Princess today, which accommodates over 3,500 passengers. Talk about the celebration today and what you all like best about the cruise line. It's an amazing experience to be here to celebrate 50 years of Princess Cruises and to be honored with the responsibility of being the godparents of the beautiful Regal Princess, which is right before us. Um, it's, it's, it, it's a beautiful ship. It's amazing. We're lucky to be together. We all love each other. And this is going to be so much fun. We've had a blast so far. And uh, so that's it. And we have 25 of the guest stars from the Love Boat here. We wow. have Charo here giving a concert. Jack Jones yeah. sang the theme, and it goes on and on and on and on. It's really going to be a once-in-a-lifetime event. We have to wait another 50 years for have this happen again. Yeah. We'll be there, though. Yeah. We'll, we'll be there. there. Maybe you will. Yeah. Every time they build one of these things, we show up like clockwork. That's right. You know, keep the uniforms at home. Put them on. That sounds great. Bernie, since you were the ladies' man of the show, I'd like to know who you think was the sexiest female to guest star on The Love Boat. Well, I, it has to be Juliet Prowse, this magnificent dancer. We had scenes in bed, you'll pardon the expression. And uh, <laughs> it was just very exciting because she had gone with Sinatra and, uh, and Eddie Fisher. And I said, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm having the privileges, privilege, <laughs> more than one privilege, of, of having scenes <laughs> In bed with Juliet Prowse, I could barely speak. I was hoping my hairpiece wouldn't fall off. And uh, it was a, we, but we had Shirley Jones, we had Eva Marie Saint, we had Greer Garson, magnificent Academy Lonnie Award Anderson. winning people. Lonnie Anderson. Sexy. Right. Lonnie Anderson. She's on the ship. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it, it continues to be a great joy. And watching the reruns, I said, wow, were we young when we started? <laughs> and now here we are, well kept and oh, still loving each other, which is amazing. Also, Bernie, in the show, a couple would go back to the cabin for a nightcap. What exactly is a nightcap? A nightcap uh, could be many things, but I think in that case it meant, it meant a drink. And once people got beyond that, the 12 mile limit, woohoo! <laughs> they had a swell time on the ships. The Pacific Princess, the Island Princess, uh, the Dawn Princess, and this magnificent regal princess that we are, we are christening this afternoon. Ted, Isaac is such a beloved character. If the Love Boat had a remake, who would you like to play the signature grin and point move? Oh my goodness, I haven't thought about that. You know, they tried to do this a couple of times. One time they said uh, Sam Jackson, but I think he's a little too tall. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Chris Rock would be good. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I would be more interested to see who would be the love interest. Yeah, then I'd want to step one. in as be a stand-in. Yeah. yeah. Hire on as a consultant. Yeah, I'll be a consultant on how to make right. those margaritas. Gavin, so many people, have, funny people, have starred on the show. Tom Hanks, Robin Williams, Billy Crystal, what have you, in stitches when they came on set. I want to tell you, I loved all of them. I mean, I was honored to be in their presence, tell you the truth. They, they had been acting for 25, 40, 50 years. They, they were, I wanted to be like them, most of them when I was a little boy. But the one I appreciated the most was when Jill came aboard as a little tiny, how old were you, 11 years old? I think so. And uh, that changed everything for me. It, it, it just changed the captain uh, because became something very, very real to play and deal with. And we got a lot of young kids watching because of Jill, and uh, she's been a wonderful kind of flame in my life ever since, grown into great womanhood. Uh, she's my favorite guest star. Aww. Great sense of comic timing, too, for a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Well, she had good teachers. <laughs> I had the best teachers. Also, Gavin, talk about Charo. You know, what was it like to see Charo over and over again? Well, Charo is like uh, a stick of dynamite. You just say yeah. hello and she explodes. <laughs> we were all doing a talk yeah. show in oh, Los Angeles. They said, we have a surprise guest for you. We thought the hour was over. And in came Charo. 
and immediately became the Charo Show. Wherever she goes, it's the Charo Show. She can't help herself. She, I mean, I heard yesterday, her husband was here yesterday. He said she's sleeping. I said, I didn't know that person ever slept. She's always going, tutoring, chichi, chichi. Uh, she's a great guitar, a flamenco guitarist, and she's going to give a concert on our ship. That will undoubtedly be a highlight. Lauren, before cheers, before moonlighting, there was the kiss heard around the world when you and Fred made out. How well do you remember kissing Fred on the show? Well, I think it turned out just the way we played it. It's yeah. kind of like kissing your brother. I mean, <laughs> he's my friend. You shouldn't yeah. kiss your friends like that. <laughs> <laughs> we are just friends. <laughs> nothing right, happened. Fred. That's right. Yeah. That nothing. All the photos have been destroyed. <laughs> nothing happened. You can't prove it. You'll find nothing on the internet. Until now. I have now. no more to say on this. It but was later on, boat. on the love boat, the next wave, Bernie and I got together. The doc and Julie oh, yes. got together. We had a, we had a yes. great romance, and our great the way I approached her, as I said, "You look very nice tonight." Thank you. <laughs> and you said to me, "You look very nice tonight." And that began the whole. <laughs> but I will say, combustible of, thing. Of all of these guys, the best kisser is Ted. Ta -da! <laughs> and we're just going to leave it at that. We're not going to go into that. That's just between Tweez and myself. Uh, thanks, guys, and good luck listening to the ship today.